Hey everybody, what's going on? Nick from 343 here, and yeah, I'm finally getting around to doing the final product review on the uh, Toro push mower that we've done. We've used this now for over a year. Kind of the one year final review uh, look. As you can see, it does a phenomenal job. Uh, we've only sharpened the blade. The blade stays pretty sharp on it. Uh, we've only sharpened the blade, I think, three times since we've owned it. And uh, so far we haven't changed the oil because they say you don't have to change the oil and the oil is still as clean as it was the day I put in it or day we put it in. I uh, probably will change it this year though just to, just to have it changed. Uh, the bagging system works really, really good on it and uh, I think it uh, actually does pretty good at bagging grass more than it does leaves. Uh, of course, any, any bagger with leaves is going to... Um, what do you call it? He's going over a spot there because it was pretty pretty thick. He's going to go over that spot again. But, uh, yeah. So, um, if you're all looking for a push mower, they have these at Home Depot. That The stowaway, we will show you on that part. I know I forgot to show you kind of that part in the first look. But, uh, yeah. We'll get you some video here and I'll show you some other stuff it does. Kind of show you the stowaway part of it. Go from there. clippings uh, it's pretty good like I said we've got uh, you know it's pretty light we did deteriorate uh, this lawn last year so the thatch layer is pretty pretty minimal so yeah I think it does a really good job the bigger wheels on the back the the, the power walk whatever you call it uh, self propelled works so great we've never probably tell you it needs it but let's see if you can see it there on the camera maybe it's a little dark not super dark I will probably change it this year just to anything that moves it's got moving parts <coughs> fuel caps always good air filter on it oh dang <coughs> needs to load up <laughs> a lot of load up so I'm going to blow that out real quick look how dirty that is Probably need to go get a new one of those actually. Yeah, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty dirty. Come on, focus. There's no saving that filter. It's, it's shot. It's a Briggs and Stratton filter, says it right there. I'll just take it to Home Depot where we got this and get a new filter for it. About 10 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and blow off Back on. Get 
resin in here for just kind of curious. Good thing full. Still runs the same, so if that tells you anything. So, all right. <clears throat> we don't really use the side deal anymore that goes on this. We mostly just uh, keep that shut. We do use the bag occasionally, but y'all know how the bag works. I'm not going to show you how that works, but I am going to show you the smart tool. So, got these little handles right here. You just turn them sideways. Get you up here a little closer so you can see that. You turn that little handle sideways and do this sideways. Forward. One forward. No, I guess it doesn't matter. Fold this up. Lock that in. And the cord's obviously going to hang back a little bit. Got the stopper thing in there that you can adjust so that it knows how much cord to take back in. Install it like that. Also get up in here and clean it out real good. Like all this gunk. And it just stoles up there like that. See how underneath looks. Simply stoles away just like that. Look how much space that takes up. Hardly none. And you're probably thinking, oh, you probably ain't gonna be able to start that right after you tip it up like that. But well, we're gonna test that out. You see how the underneath looks. Pretty dirty. It's also been wet. We've been mowing some wet grass. Let's go ahead and flip it back down. Start right back up. Down. Pretty easy. Flip out. Flip out. Flip up. Lock. Lock. There is two holes you can use. Oh, here I use the top one. right back up so yeah uh, I'll actually put the bag on here real quick just to kind of show you what it looks like with the bag how that works <coughs> I got the bag here the bag just got these two handles here these two little grooves that sit in and it goes down there like so and that just shuts like that you get yourself a really really good it is wet I just washed it but Get yourself a really, really good little uh, push mower there. So the top handle is what starts it. The bottom handle is your drive. The more you pull up on it, the faster it goes. So yeah. So what I say, get one of these mowers. Absolutely, we haven't had much problems with it. Sub propelled, still working. Um, I think it's a really cool little mower. For Toro. <clears throat> the lawn care nut says they're good. This is one of the newer ones. It does have a strap motor. So far, we haven't had any problems with it. So all we do is use it, put it away. Thanks for checking this final review out of the Smart Stole uh, 22 inch Toro recycler that we've had now for one little over a year now. We've been using it this year. It's working great. Uh, so, yeah, if you're in the market, go check out Home Depot. I uh, know they have, at least they had them. I'll have to, if they, you know, you can just go check anywhere that sells Toro lawnmowers. It's probably going to have it. So it's probably a newer version of that by now. So check it out. One year review. Awesome. Works great. Um, does handle hills fairly decent. Surf propelled front wheels. Um, uh, I would like to get a rear, rear wheel drive version of a push mower and try that one out. So if you guys are got some rear, rear wheel push mowers and you want me to check them out send me an email link is in my bio or my about me you guys can send me an email uh, if you guys got any equipment lawn care equipment truck equipment anything you guys want me to review check it out i'll review it see you in the next one guys peace